The ECOG performance score is very beloved of oncologists. We've been using it for 40 years. It's a, an entirely simple, uh, transferable scale. We only need to know five things. And it has performed, if you'll excuse the pun, incredibly well over those 40 years. It, it has an enormous ability to be both prognostic and predictive about how a patient might fare with their cancer with cancer treatment. But it's really very reductive. It reduces people to a very limited scale. And as a colleague of mine uh, likes to say, there is a whole medical textbook between performance status one and two. The scale lacks the granularity to understand uh, better what a patient's fitness is. And we need to understand better so we don't do those patients a disservice. Performance score is rather static. Whereas if we, instead of looking at performance score, start to embrace the concept of frailty, we can start to think about reversible components of a patient's frailty and say, what can we do as a medical team, not just an oncological team, to improve a patient's performance? Now, the concept of frailty has been something that colleagues in geriatric medicine have been working with and looking at for many years. I think it's now time for the oncology community to embrace that and start to assess our patients more fully when they present to us with cancer. My, there are a huge number of different ways of assessing frailty, some very complex, some very simple. And we shouldn't let that wide range of scoring systems and put us off from embracing the, the topic. I think there are some very simple tools that oncologists can take into their clinic tomorrow. In my own personal practice, I'm strongly uh, in favor of using the clinical frailty score, often known to people as the Rockwood score. It's... Um, it's widely used in the NHS by our other colleagues, by colleagues in acute medicine and elderly medicine. So it's part of the language of the hospital so that oncologists can start talking to their colleagues in other disciplines in a way that we all understand what we mean when we're talking about a patient's frailty. And another easy to use screening tool is the G8 screening tool, which is recommended by a number of the geriatric oncology societies. And both of these are tools that you could start using in your clinic tomorrow to start better cataloging and documenting frailty in patients. But the real challenge of that is not just measuring it, it's about what you do about it. And frailty scoring should start to become a triage tool that triggers a response whereby patients at a certain level of frailty might need the input from your colleagues around the hospital, geriatricians, cardiologists, endocrinologists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, to try and work with them on their frailty so that we can better maximize their fitness and in doing so offer them a wider range of oncological therapies.